Good morning, how are you? Listen, I don't have to worry you, but the world has officially gone mad. Why? Well, because there are lots of animal related stories for this week and none of them came from Mary. Can you believe it? Yes, indeed. What she did upload, however, was a brilliant, utterly brilliant clip of what really happens when you decide to host a conference call. Anyone who's had to take a brief using this kind of technology or use it to remotely liaise with more than two stakeholders will testify that this clip is absolutely spot on. But going back to animals, the world was even madder. There was talk of cows in the cloud saving the world and a cat making best friends with a budgie. True, the last one was an advert, but given that the most expensive slot on TV in the world is the 60 second advertising slot during the American Super Bowl, I'm clearly not the only one who can see the value in a brilliant advert. Meanwhile, back in the real world, most people say they would love to hire a brilliant PR team to do brilliant PR. Well, some good news from Mary, again, she was having a great week this week, wasn't she? With her story about how much excellent PR the Royal Mail was able to capture for just three pounds. Have a read of this great story and see what you could do with your three pounds. And it suddenly occurred to me that our Tracy sometimes gets missed off these great weekly roundups simply because her light doesn't shine until the weekend. Say no more. Last week she posted some fabulous pie making tips from Higgity, their award winning. So forget popping into your local Greg's and get your penny out, your taste buds tasting and start making your own. Once you've wiped the gravy from your smiling face, <clears throat> you might want to start thinking about what you can achieve for the wider world. Okay, let's be honest, what you might want to do is snooze in front of the final matches of this year's stunning Six Nations. But perhaps what you should be doing is looking at ways you can give back to the in world without compromising on your own busy life. If so, you'll like this talk from Ted that Tracy posted. Fab, absolutely fab. And finally, for those people who've never read Harry Potter, you might be both surprised and delighted to hear that you're not alone. What will perhaps be surprising is that not having read any of the books has not prevented some people from having an opinion, quite a voluble opinion actually. It's quite detailed and it's very revealing, so thanks to Tim for rounding off this week's bulletin with this clip. As ever, all the links I've mentioned can be found underneath, just there. But if you want to surprise and to like yourself, just go to the homepage on iNewsU and have a mooch around. You never know what's going to catch your attention, but whatever it is, I doubt you'll be bored, even for a minute. If you are, tell me and I'll try to find you something else that I know you will enjoy. I'm so confident that I would offer you a money back guarantee, except we don't charge. So, whichever team you're shouting for this weekend with the rugby, I hope you have a great one. And I'll see you all next week. Bye bye for now.